What's up guys, Jake here with this week's episode of What's New TW. Got a few things I'm gonna go over with you today. The first thing we got here is new G-Funk uh, umbrella rigs. Now they come in a few different models. We got a desert rig and we got a California rig, bladed, non-bladed, uh, different color wire. So a lot of options with these rigs, but they sent us a few fully rigged up with Kitex on them. So you guys can see how you know great of a looking, uh, clean looking rig you can get set up out of this thing. So the first one I'll go over with you is the this is the California rig. It's got, it's set up to run three hooked baits because in California and a lot of other states you can only have three hooked baits. Um, you know, their top teasers, a little bit shorter wires. They already have the, uh, the screw locks built onto them. So you just screw, you know, screw your little, uh, your dummy baits right in there. Um, all the components, super key on this thing. Seven strand crimps, uh, owner swivels, owner split rings. But up here we have some small Lucky Craft oval split rings that actually helps the blades turn. So real small swivel, real small split ring up here that keeps the blades turning at any speed you want. Uh, everything else heavy duty. Uh, uh, again, owner swivel up here at the top. Um, owner split rings and swivels down here at the bottom. Uh, and another thing that's key on this California rig, the middle wire is a little bit longer than the other one. So that's gonna eliminate um, your baits fouling up on the cast, which becomes a big issue. Here on the desert rig, this one's set up for two baits because a lot of states you're only allowed to have two hooked baits on there. Still same thing, that middle wire, you know, is set up for a dummy bait now. And then, you're, uh, then you got your two hook baits on the back. They also come in the two different color wires. They got a silver and a clear lake camo. So if you guys fish, you know, clear water, you might want to go with the silver wire. If you're in the, the dirty water situations, you can go to that kind of bronze color wire. It's going to help hide those wires and actually get your, uh, your rig to have a much more natural bait fish profile look to it. Um, some great new Alabama rigs. Um, they've been out here in California for a while. We're pretty stoked to get them, so check them out for G-Funk baits. All right, next up, we got a whole bunch of baits by a company called Smash Tech. Um, I just grabbed a few of them to show you guys. This first one right here, this big seven inch full bodied swim bait is their Convict, the Smash Tech Convict swim bait. Now, you know, big, big, you know, this is a full body, you know, big piece of plastic bait, usually come in like a top hook or a line through model. But this actually features a split belly in it and the top end of the, the top back of the plastic um, real thin so you're going to get plenty of hookup ratio out of this. You're not going to have to drive a hook through all that body of plastic. And the way they, they molded the hook pocket in here, it's made to meet up perfectly with a 10 aught owner beast hook. So massive hook so you can get plenty of hook setting power out of that thing. So if you're looking to get like a big swim bait into some thick heavy cover but you can't get a top hook or a line through, check out the Convict by Smash Tech. Another one they got from Smash Tech is their, their lead smasher. Now, 4.3 inches in length, perfect bait fish size. You know, you can catch everything from one pounders to 10 pounders on this thing. Big cupped, uh, big cupped tail on the back produces a lot of kick. So big wide swinging action. Super durable plastic on this one, a lot more durable than, uh, than some of the other baits because this one's made for ledge fishing. So it's made to withstand, you know, a ton of bites. So you can catch, once you get your school fired up, you can just catch fish after fish, keep casting keep catching those fish without having to change baits. Uh, flat head on it, so it meets perfectly up with a, with a you know, big variety of jig heads, so new ledge smasher from Smash Tech. All right, and they got a couple worms here. This first one is their bubble fry worm. Uh, you, know, fry, you know, fry worms are kind of like an old school technique, not a lot of guys think of still these days. I think this worm's got a 136 um, appendages on it, traps a lot of air, so you know, creates a big bubble, bubble trail on the way to the bottom that you can Carolina rig this thing, Texas rig, shaky head, wacky rig, drop shot, whatever, I mean, whatever you want you can do with this little guy. Another one they got that I really liked is their taper worm. Now just a basic worm, you know, wide up at the top, tapers down to a super, super small pintail. Um, bunch of great colorways, but with that small tail you're going to get a ton of action. It's, you know, if you have it on a shaky head or something like that or a drop shot. So a great new little worm. All the Smash Tech baits are hand poured or hand injected, depending on if they're worms or, um, or the swim baits. But they have great color schemes out of them, and they got that hand pour quality action that's built into them. All right, next up from Evolution Baits is another one I'm excited about that came out of California. This is the Evolution Grass Burner. I've seen a few guys have these, but I haven't, haven't really actually got to put hands on one in person. Uh, awesome little buzz bait. Now, if you check this thing out, it's got a buzz bait blade up at the top, you know, this hard resin body, you know, will stand a ton of beating. And then you come down to a skirted tail, you know, a nice skirted tail with a treble hook in it. It's got two treble hooks in it. Greatly increases your hookup ratio for buzz bait 
you know, for buzzbait bites. I mean, everyone out there has fished a buzzbait. You know, you've gotten blown up and missed the fish. You have to add trailer hooks, two trailer hooks to try to, to get more fish in the boat. This thing with, t with two trebles, if they come up and make any kind of swipe at it, you're more than likely going to get a hook in it. Um, you know, it looks, looks awesome with that hard body on it. it. looks just like a bait fish and that blade kicks up water. It just looks just like, you know, fleeing shag going across the surface. So if you're looking for something different and you know, change up your, your top water arsenal, check out the Evolutions Grass Burner. All right, a couple little terminal items I wanted to show you guys about. Um, this is just a Kamigatsu round bend black hook, just your basic round bend treble. Um, previously, we've only had uh, straight round bend uh, Gamagatsu hooks in bronze. Uh, all the other hooks that we have are usually the, are the Magic Eyes and the 2X strength, but if you're looking for just a, a plain 1X uh, Gamagatsu treble hook, we got, we got them now from, two to eight, from size 2 to 8, and we also have them up to 25 packs, so that makes it really convenient. You guys are changing hooks out on a bunch of crankbaits, you can get the value packs, you get 25 pack of these guys. Another little terminal piece for you guys, owner three-way swivels. You know, there's not that many three-way swivels out there. Any kind of specialty rigs you guys are doing, you know, uh, bottom fishing, like if you're salmon fishing, doing back bouncing stuff, or maybe like a, you know, some kind of double fluke rig, something like that. Uh, you know, now we got owner, uh, owner three-way swivels. All the owner stuff is super high strength in comparison to how, how big it is. These little guys right here, I mean, they're probably maybe a half inch in diameter and they're 46 pounds strength. So great quality terminal parts from owner. All right, next up from Flambeau, we got a new series of boxes. These are the Ike series quotient boxes. Um, heavy duty boxes, a little bit different than most of the stuff we have out there. Um, if, you, if you notice, the first thing you notice in the inside is the, uh, the divider system. It doesn't have your standard little plastic dividers. It actually has little trays built in. So that's going to allow your stuff to stay a little bit more organized. Um, dividers aren't going to move and your stuff's not going to get mixed up as much. Um, great little box. This one would be great for like your terminal stuff. And we have them up to, you know, some bigger sizes. You open these up. This would be great for like storing your, uh, you know, soft plastics, um, anything like that. And then if you want to just take one of the little trays out and have it on the front deck of your boat for a while, don't have to have your whole box out. Another good option you can do with those. Um, cool little ta new tackle storage system from Flambeau you guys might want to check out. For more detailed information on the products seen here today, please click the link of the images below. And to view everything that's new at Tackle Warehouse this week, please click the link in the description. And be sure to check back with us next week for more What's New TW. Thank you. A really cool new frog design. You get a lot of action just like you would uh, be using like a topwater uh, walking bait. We're using a rate of fall 12 HUD, just the regular 8 inch. It's, uh, it's March right now. So Ooh, that's fun. Little Strike King square bill.